At the Carl Auto Group Collision Centers, we make it easy. Our expert Platinum iCard technicians use the latest technology and innovations to repair any make or model of vehicle on the road. Multiple locations in Iowa to get you back on the road faster. Get your free estimate today, in person or online at carlauto.com. Your dealer for life, it's the car away. Um, um, Frank, Frank, when you think fairway, you think fresh. Is that the winning culture you've tried to create? Penelope Pineapple, what an unbelievable produce performance. How does your team stay so fresh? Sunkissed Orange, is it true fairway has offered the freshest produce in town since 1938? What can we say? Our produce is so fresh, we're speechless. Hey guys, it's Chris Williams here with Cyclone Fanatic telling you about one of my favorite companies that I've worked with. And I hire them all the time. Country Landscapes, they're located up in Ames, but they have offices in Eastern Iowa as well, over in North Liberty. Got one up in Clear Lake. I've hired Country Landscapes to do all the landscaping in my front yard, but I've also hired them to come over and give me advice on planting trees in my front and backyard. Stuff I don't really know about, but boy, the folks at Country Landscapes are experts in this field. They also have a skilled stone mason division that creates outdoor living and cooking spaces. That's something I need to look into. Check them out. Country Landscapes. You want that dream fire pit in your backyard? That's an idea for this spring. Country Landscapes supporting our March Madness coverage of the Cyclones here on the Cyclone Fanatic Podcast Network. All right, what's up, friends? Iowa State wins it tonight over Baylor in the semis of the Big 12 Conference Tournament. 76 to 62 a pretty dominant performance tonight by iowa state they have now won games by 14 and 19 here in the big 12 tournament so this team has clearly righted the ship and they look really good tonight uh we'll, we'll talk about that i want to thank a couple more of our sponsors of course you saw fairway meat and grocery carl auto group and country landscapes also keen project solutions Think different, think keen.com. That's K E E N. And our friends at Central State Roofing, they are uh, handling commercial projects within a 75 mile radius of Ames, Des Moines, and Fort Dodge. We thank them for sponsoring our coverage of the Cyclones all March long. All right, let's get into this. A really dominant performance tonight by Iowa State. And the, you know, the number one thing for me was to see the lid come off of the basket for a couple of guys, namely Milan Momchilovic, three of six. I, I thought he hit kind of set the tone tonight for Iowa state hits the first three in the corner, right? To start the game really did the same thing in the second half, which was started with a Momchilovic three. We've talked a lot about it here on the cyclone fanatic podcast network about how we thought Milan stretching that offense out um, really keeps defenses honest. And that's a really good sign. Needed him to, you know, again, as I said, take the lid off of the basket. You saw that tonight. That was number one. The other guy I kind of had circled was Curtis Jones. He had really been elite for Iowa State the last, you know, month and a half of the season. And I wanted to keep him, you know, in that mode where nobody had been hitting shots recently. It was good to see Curtis go three of six from the floor, 13 points for him. I thought that Keyshawn Gilbert was just phenomenal. Seven of 15. Of course, he had 20 points, so he would have been the player of the game. But seven rebounds and seven assists for Key is really huge. Look at Iowa State's two starting guards, okay? And Gilbert and Lipsy, they combined. They have five and seven rebounds, six and seven assists. That's great numbers. Uh, Lipsy didn't turn the ball over tonight. Uh, Keyshawn had three, but only six as a team for Iowa State. One of those was a garbage time turnover. It didn't really matter. So you're looking at just in the double digits turnover wise for this team in its first two games of the Big 12 tournament. And, you know, that was really that thing where we saw Manhattan. Maybe the Manhattan loss wasn't a bad thing, right? Because you're you're looking at it now and they have really, um, you know, they've really turned things around. They really learned from that and they've gotten better. And that's what you that's all you can ask for after after losses the three-point shot comes back for iowa state tonight that was a big note 10 of 11 from three 
Um, kind of felt like this would be that type of a game going into it. I watched the game back from last night again this morning, and they had really good looks. The shots just weren't falling. Generally, if you're getting good looks, shots will end up falling. If you're not getting good looks, that's when you know your uh, percentages start to deteriorate. I don't necessarily know if Iowa State was getting good looks towards the end of the season, in the regular season, but they did last night, and they certainly did tonight, right? So that's you know another another really good sign, I think, going into the NCAA tournament. We'll talk about Houston. Um, you know, I I just think that. I think that tomorrow night's game is less important. Just, I mean, you want to go out and win the championship, right? No doubt. No doubt about that. But, you know, Iowa State's back to being a confident basketball team on the offensive end after these two games. And nothing that happens tomorrow night uh, is really going to impact that. Now, I want to go cut down the nets, right? Like, nobody nobody can argue that. Um, And that would be a huge statement going into the tournament if you could – you know, blow out these two teams in Kansas State and in Baylor. And then if you could knock off the number one team in the country on top of it, it'd be a huge statement, no doubt. Uh, But, you you know, it just feels like, all right, they got their mojo back. And this is the Iowa State team. This is a version of the Iowa State team that we all saw early February that we thought that could potentially push for a final four. Maybe another little stat that I like tonight, a little nugget is I didn't, I didn't hate how last night's hero, Robert Jones fouls out. He only plays 15 minutes because that engaged ward, you know, his son ward was forced to play 21 minutes tonight. He stayed out of foul trouble, goes four of five, 10 points, six rebounds. He was fantastic. That's one of the wards best offensive games in a really long time because he had been in so much foul trouble. Um, so I, I, a lot of really positive things. You hold that Baylor team that shoots as well as they do from three to five of 24. So that tells me your defense was phenomenal. Of course, 13 turnovers against Baylor tonight. And that's a, you know, that team's a likely two or a three seed in the NCAA tournament. And you made them look really pedestrian. Crowd was awesome. You would expect that. And I um, am expecting nothing but an absolutely massive day here in Kansas City coming up tomorrow. Uh, As Again, I'm guessing even more of you will probably jump on I-35 and and head south. But, man, looking forward to another Big 12 championship game. Uh, Feels like a real blessing to be able to have covered all these over the years. And, again... Regardless of tomorrow, what we've seen the last two nights tells me that there's the, the team that we saw in middle of February, early February, that was turning heads every time they went out there, that team still exists. They found – they is my favorite rapper, Jay-Z, once said, well, I guess I got my swagger back, and that's what the Cyclones have. They, they have found it. They have they brought it back. Um, we'll see what they do tomorrow night against Houston. That's a really tough game, no doubt about that. Having said that, um, good little stat here by my producer, Aiden, why Iowa State is 5-0 and all-time in Big 12 championship games. Just saying. He is uh, Aiden Wyatt. I'm going to get to the locker room. Sorry, a little bit of a, a abbreviated one here, but you guys want to get the locker room footage. That's what, that's what we're here for. I'm going to head there. Iowa State wins it. In dominating fashion tonight, the final was 76 to 62 over the Baylor Bears. We'll have pregame coming up tomorrow. Thanks, Aiden. We appreciate it. And I will, uh, we'll be back tomorrow.